ライダー変身ライダージャンプライダーキック仮面ライダー仮面ライダーライダーライダー Kamen Rider, the original 1971 television series, redefined Tokusatsu, revitalized the art form by launching a new wave in its popularity called the Henshin Boom, codified the ritualistic poses and transformation sequences we now associate with superheroes and magical girls, and birthed a franchise that continues to burn bright over five decades later. As one of the biggest names in not only Tokusatsu, but Japanese media in general, Kamen Rider has left a considerable, wider reaching impression on popular culture. Major creative figures like video game designer Hideo Kojima, Evangelion creator Hideaki Anno, and Hitoshi Matsumoto of Big Man Japan fame <laughs> have all cited Kamen Rider as something they've always held great affection for. So today we will take a look at some of the most interesting Kamen Rider references in Japanese television, movies, and video games. Of course, this list isn't exhaustive, and while media has shown plenty of love for modern iterations of Kamen Rider as well, the majority of entries on this list will skew towards the classic shows, as that's what I'm most familiar with. And with that said, let's begin. The first Kamen Rider reference on this list can be found in Animal Crossing, and it comes in the form of KK Slider. There's a song he performs called Go KK Rider, and it's a full blown homage to Kamen Rider. Let's see what we have here. On the cover art for the song, Slider dons a red scarf and rides a white motorcycle that bears more than a passing resemblance to Kamen Rider's signature rider machine. But if the cover art wasn't enough, the song should be an obvious nod to Let's Go, Rider Kick, the opening theme to the original Kamen Rider series. And depending on the version you're listening to, such as the Smash Brothers remix, Go KK Rider even starts with the thundering sound of a passing motorcycle, much like the opening of the original Kamen Rider series. Next, there's Digimon. Digimon has boasted heavy tokusatsu influence from the very beginning. The climatic battle in the 1999 short film directed by Mamoru Hosoda was treated like a kaiju battle, and there are a number of references to the Ultra series sprinkled throughout the series. Naturally, Kamen Rider gets some love too, and one of the more prominent Kamen Rider references can be found in Digimon Adventure 02. Stingmon is basically an organic interpretation of the classic Rider design. Along with the grasshopper motif, it has hair sticking out of what would be a helmet, just like it stuck out of the helmet for the original Kamen Rider. The flowing red tip antenna can be viewed as a substitute for the red scarf. In my opinion, Stingmon would make for a legitimately good Kamen Rider design. Little to no changes necessary. Just slap the name Kamen Rider on it and boom, done. Mashira Kuna sticks out like a sore thumb next to most of the surrounding characters in Bleach. Not just the ones wearing attire appropriate for the time or outfits which harkens back to a more traditional Japanese era. No, she's one of the more unique character designs, period. Why is that? Well, because she might as well have been ripped right out of a classic tokusatsu television series. And her insect-like mask, scarf, and penchant for kicking immediately makes it clear which tokusatsu series she owes the greatest debt to. Satoru, aka Moomin Rider, of the manga and anime series One Punch Man is yet another Kamen Rider reference. He rides a bike, passionately pursues justice and sports for all intents and purposes, a Kamen Rider belt. Fittingly, he is introduced assisting a young child. Concern about the well-being of children was something important in the original Kamen Rider series. And despite his lack of super abilities, Satoru holds his own alongside both his supernatural allies and enemies due to giving it his all even in the face of great adversity. This spirit of endurance helps to make his struggle against the Deep Sea King one of the most moving moments in all of One Punch Man. Powers or not, Moomin Rider captures the spirit of Kamen Rider, and for that he's one of the more meaningful nods to Rider in my book. Video game director Hideki Kamiya has no shortage of notable titles under his belt. Devil May Cry, Okami, Resident Evil 2, Bayonetta. But the one we'll devote attention to today is Beautiful Joe. In a 2020 interview with Nintendo World Report at PAX East, Kamiya shared that Tokusatsu inspired the informal trilogy that includes 
The Beautiful Joe, The Wonderful 101, and Project GG. He said the following, In terms of the trilogy, you can see it as Beautiful Joe being the single transforming hero, Wonderful 101 as the team hero, and then Project GG being the giant hero. For the single transforming hero, of course, it's Kamen Rider. Not that can be needed to say any of this though. The tokusatsu influence, specifically the Kamen Rider influence, in Beautiful Joe should be readily apparent. A human-sized, crimson scarf-wearing warrior battling countless grunts and shouting to change into his superhero form. Yeah, checks out. For the promotion of Gravity Rush 2, director Keichiro Toyama expressed his love for Kamen Rider. He said, I really like Kamen Rider, so you'll see even more elements of that in the game. Though arguably the Kamen Rider influence was there from the start, series protagonist Kat is a charming heroine with a moral compass worthy of a writer. But if that's not good enough, then there's her signature gravity kicks. Delivering a devastating kick from on high, that's definitely the writer way. And her kicks are essentially flashier writer kicks. But if not even that is enough, in Gravity Rush Overture, Kat and Raven unleash this attack on their enemies. <laughs> Does it look familiar? If it does, maybe because it's a combination of the Double Rider Kick from Kamen Rider and the Inazuma Double Kick from Die Buster, the latter already being a Rider Kick. How do I know that? Well, Die Buster acknowledges this itself. But Gravity Rush containing Kamen Rider references shouldn't be too surprising if you're familiar with the man behind it. Because like Hideki Kamiya, Keichiro Toyama is a huge Kamen Rider fan in general. When asked about a movie he would recommend, Toyama responded with, <laughs> And there you have it, several of the most interesting Kamen Rider references in Japanese television, movies, and video games. What's your favorite? Or if there was a reference not mentioned in this video, Feel free to share it in the comment section below and consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. But for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.